Yeah, Steve Goff here with Little River Research Design. Um, I hope to help y'all out there who are machining uh, uh, ABS on a small scale. Uh, it's not too hard to machine it on a big rigid bridge, bridge port like this, but we found that uh, using a small router, a CNC router table, it was very, very difficult. Um, ABS is very tough, but it's also, like many plastics, generates a lot of heat when it's being milled and um, is also very melty. So the uh, specs that we got from the cutter manufacturers just didn't work at all. We had a lot of trouble trying to figure out how to make these parts. Um, we found that uh, using a much lighter cut, um, especially with these grooves, just a really small cut, uh, depth of cut worked okay for us. Um, and if we exceeded that at all, we got chatter and horrible results, breaking bits. The results, as you can see, weren't that great. But here's, uh, here's what we came up with. That worked okay with our uh, Romax WD-1, which I, I don't like very much. It's not a very rigid machine at all. I'm not pleased with it. But um, you can see here, we used a really, really light cut, but I guess, you know, with a little CNC like this, you got nothing but time, so it worked out okay for us. Um, we put these, held these down with carpet tape, and then uh, uh, left a little bit of skin because if you cut down into that carpet tape, it does not, it gums things up, it's not good. And then we flipped them over in our uh, big uh, bridge port and cut that skin off. So, so here, here are the here are the specs that worked for us. And um, as I said, we couldn't find anything on the internet. So I hope this helps you guys out. <laughs>